I saw this show for Mother's Day when it first opened at the Orpheum. It went from WPA to the Orpheum, and I was a teenager. And uh, I just loved the show immediately. The lyrics are hilarious, and it's a rock musical, so it's something that I think people can identify with a lot, younger audience can identify with. We're going to make sure that it's a, a, a group activity. Everyone in the audience should be close together and hoping that the plant doesn't come and eat them. The plants make it all so much better. Like, I have to be honest, when we're doing it in rehearsal, and we were without the plants for a few weeks, so it was getting like our stuff down, and then it just adds such an amazing layer to the show when they're actually there. I love this character so very much. She's very dear to me. Um, I find with her, it's very humbling. I feel like I'm just getting down to the honesty of this character, not trying to put my own spin on it because Ellen Green is such an iconic a person and she created this character so I'm really doing my best to you know take what she did and transform it into something that I can make my own I don't know I've always I've always loved this musical and it's always been such a huge spectacle of a musical and you grow up knowing it you grow up knowing it in high school and middle school and Seymour was the one part that I connected with I think the most Seymour's journey is a huge one and it's an interesting one he he has an interesting uh, younger life where he is in and out of orphanages. Um, so his journey goes from complete and utter like infancy almost. If, even though he's, he's 24, 25 years old, he starts socially as an infant and he becomes, he blossoms into what, lo into what looks like on the outside, like a, a confident and a, you know, a guy who knows what he's talking about until tragedy strikes, of course. Well, you know, it's the Dr. Faustus legend just totally mixed up and upside down. It's a 1960 film that Roger Corman did in two days because he happened to have extra time and extra film. So he slopped this thing together and it became a cult classic. Jack Nicholson's in the original. So they went and spoofed the whole idea of horror movies, B movies, and musical theater itself. They just made a big spoof of it. And what I'm hoping to do is to go from that black and white opportunity into color as Seymour becomes better off. Everyone gets more color. So it'll be hopefully an interesting concept that you'll see.